In the last class, we started with the uh, viewing transformations. I'll just brief you up regarding what is uh, viewing transformation, and then we'll see further. Uh, today's topic, though, is uh, related with the clipping in 2D, and uh, presently we'll start with the uh, few fundamentals in 2D viewing, and then we'll continue with the present day work. Uh, we have already started with the coordinate system. Uh, coordinate system, there are three types of coordinate system, modeling coordinate system, world coordinate system and viewing coordinate system. Now, uh, let us go through them one by one. Uh, the modeling coordinate system identifies the shapes of the object and it is attached to the object. Therefore, MCS moves with the object in the world coordinate system. Uh, world coordinate system identifies locations of the objects in the world in the application viewing coordinate system defined by the viewpoint and view side. Now let us try to find out what do we exactly mean by these def definitions. Let us talk uh, about the first thing modeling coordinate system. Now the term modeling coordinate system whatever we the object that we see in the real time world that is uh, say if we see uh, an object a car is moving uh, or a car is there we will try to identify the oval shape or circular shape or spherical shape or rectangular we will classify the objects with the help of some mathematical values and mathematical functions and uh, they fall into the category of modeling coordinates now modeling coordinate means uh, you try to uh, figure out uh, the relationship between the real time object and then that of the uh, uh, and then that of the real time mathematical object now in the case of world coordinate system, this tells us about the location of the object. For example, I am saying uh, we are in the uh, northern hemisphere and in India and this is a particular latitude and longitudinal position is there for Udaipur also uh, specific longitudinal and latitudinal uh, values are there that we have to note down. Now in this uh, real coordinate system is defined by the viewpoint and the view side. Now if we are taking up a camera and now the object that we see in front of us uh, will be captured but only the, the area which is visible is brought down or scaled down for us. So that we will see subsequently how this is happening here in the next set of slides. Uh, we will start with the first one, viewpoint and view side here. Now this is the viewpoint, this is the eye here and it is able to see this is the three dimensional uh, thing. Uh, you, you will find that this is the view side. Now the person is uh, looking at this object in this direction and world, this is the world coordinate system. Now in the world coordinate system, this is the modeling coordinate system. The object is lying here and this is the particular type of shape is also known to us. Now if you see in the second, next diagram, you will see that in the world coordinate system, we have the viewing coordinate system and the modeling coordinate system. Now how they are defined, let us see. The viewpoint, the eye is available here. You will look at this side, and this is x, and this is y, and this is z. Uh, all these directions, x, y, and z, uh, y, and uh, x, y, and z. Uh, here you will find this is z. Uh, this is the viewing coordinate system here. Yeah, viewing coordinate system. And here, this is the modeling coordinate system. If this is the uh, object is modeled around this particular coordinate system, and uh, uh, this is the difference between these three. Now the projections on the screen, parallel projections, you will find that uh, there are two types of projections. One is perspective projection and another one is the parallel projection. And if you see the parallel or perspective projection here, uh, this is the viewpoint here and we are able to, uh, the eye is placed here, viewpoint, center of the uh, projection and this is the parallel projection here you will be able to see. And now you will make a comparative difference between that parallel projection uh, preserves the actual dimension of the shapes of the objects, uh, preserves parallelism and angles preserved only on faces parallel to the projection plane. Orthographic projection is one type of parallel projection that we have to understand here. Uh, this we have already done, I am just going through fast because we have already done discuss this in the earlier class and uh, doesn't preserve parallelism. Now, perspective projection, we, we see that if uh, the rays are projected onto a particular point, they are not parallel in the case of perspective. So, here you have to understand this. Actual dimension of the angles of the object, therefore, shapes deform. Shape is deformed here. And uh, popular in art, classic painting, architectural design, civil engineering, not commonly used in mechanical engineering. And uh, next. 
the word coordinate area selected for display is called a window and an area in a display device to which the window is mapped is called a viewport the mapping of the uh, part of the world coordinate scene to a device coordinate is referred to as viewing transformation now these red color points are very much important for you the world coordinate area selected for display is called window now uh, whatever view that we want to uh, capture that is called as the window and the display device to which window is mapped is called now the display the image formed on the display device is the viewport so these are the viewing transformations so how we can bring about a change uh, or how we can transform the object that we see in the uh, real time world and when it is captured in the camera how the display changes so uh, transformations will be coordinate systems first of all there is a modeling coordinate system whether the object is round rectangular whatever it is mentioned here and here from modeling coordinate we have world coordinates viewing coordinate virtual device coordinates and the device coordinates now in between modeling coordinate and world coordinate we will have a modeling transformation here world coordinate and uh, viewing coordinate we will have a viewing transformation and the view, uh, then we have virtual device coordinate that is the projection transformation and finally we have the device coordinates how the object will appear in the device so 2d viewing transformation means you are transferring the modeling coordinates constructing a world coordinate scene from the modeling coordinate transformation world coordinates convert the world coordinates into viewing coordinates and then uh, transform the viewing coordinates normalize now you have to normalize in the, in the range of 0 to 1 and normalize coordinates and map the normalized coordinates to the device coordinate here your camera will be there so it is projected onto the camera Now in this particular case, normalization and viewport transformation first approach. Normalization and window to viewport transformations are combined into one operation. Viewport range can be in between 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Cleaving takes place between 0 to 1. Second approach, normalization and cleaving takes place before viewport transformations, viewport coordinates. So these all these things we have already discussed in the previous class. I'm just revising these things. Now in this particular case. Uh, you find there, this is the uh, point here and now the, we have taken up a cleaving window. Now this, in this particular cleaving window, this is Y window minimum, Y window maximum, X window minimum, X window maximum. This is the dimensions of the window or the coordinate description of the window, cleaving window rather. And now this is the point given here in the world coordinate system, this is the point X, W, Y, W. Now we want to see it in a normalized viewport. How this point will be transformed? Now if you see here, this is the viewport coordinate system x view v minimum and x v maximum, y v minimum and y v maximum here. Now this is the point here. It is brought down to this x v and y v. Okay. So we have to see how this normalization takes place in this uh, this point in particular x v minus x v minimum. That is this particular point x v minus x v minimum divided by x maximum minus x minimum. This is the value which is equal to x w minus x minimum x w minus x minimum Yes. Now this is uh, x w mi uh, minus x w minimum and y v minus y v minimum y v and y uh, v minimum and this is y v maximum here. And this way we try to find out the value of x v and y. Now this is the value here. X v is equal to s x x w plus d x and y v is equal to s y uh, y v plus d y uh, where Scaling factors are x, sx and sy. Here xv maximum, xv minimum, xw maximum, xw minimum, yv maximum, yv minimum, and yv maximum, yv minimum here. The translational parameters can be calculated here. Uh, 
uh, xw maximum y xv minimum xw minimum xv maximum and uh, here uh, xw maximum xw minimum here and uh, y, uh, the dy parameter is y max, uh, yw maximum yv minimum minus yw minimum yw yv maximum so the difference is here so you will find that what we are doing we are trying to perform translation and here is the inverse translation here now scaling so we have to perform first of all translation that is moving and then scaling and then moving it back to the same location that is inverse translation is here and then we get finally the results which can also be expressed with the help of this particular matrix that we have already discussed now in a 2D view pipeline, suppose I am seeing this particular object in the world coordinate system. This is x window minimum, x window maximum, and I'm, uh, I have drawn an object here, and uh, we want to view this particular object, how this particular object will look like. So let us see this. Uh, let us place a uh, trimming window here over this particular object, and you will see that the window is here, and uh, clipping window and then we what do we want to see now we will fix up the area we will move the clipping window uh, in from one direction to the other and we will fix up the uh, object of interest now this is our object of interest which is placed on the view board you will find that this is y minimum y maximum xv minimum xv maximum only this much portion that is our, our of is of interest for us So here view board and uh, what we are doing want to see that is on the view board. Okay. Now next thing, if you move it further, you can see that this is the second pipeline and uh, we will be able to see the object there. Okay. Now second next example. In the next example, you will see that in the we have modeling coordinate applying modeling transformations to this particular object. So here we will apply modeling transformation here and uh, this is the modeling object has been constructed here. Modeling transformation is there. Now uh, world coordinate. In the world coordinate where is this particular object lying? So here world coordinate system. Then determine visible parts. Which parts are to be seen or which parts are visible here. Now this portion is in the viewing coordinate. I am taking uh, this one and viewing coordinate system to standard coordinates. Here then normalize, clip to determine the pixels and then finally this is the only uh, RY region of interest and this is the uh, final on the device. Now uh, if you see here uh, uh, the object is not at the origin, first of all we will bring it to the origin and uh, as shown here and uh, then we will perform the scaling and then we will bring it back to the same location as you see we are able to see in the end. So in the uh, normalized coordinates next we can see as this one we have here dx that is x minimum y minimum translation and then uh, sx and then t inverse that is bringing it back to the same location where it was. Now next example you will see that this is the area and uh, uh, window area of interest within the world coordinate and this is the window that we have fixed up this is the size of the window and uh, this is x window minimum x window maximum and y window minimum and y window maximum over a particular region now if you see here if you want to have this particular object uh, world coordinate uh, so we are able to see this example here and this is the view code representation so same thing here x v how the world coordinate is being transferred here you can see it very well. so the camera analogy modeling transformations position the object you are photographing viewing transformation position the view the volume viewing volume in the world setting of the tripod projection lens zooming then view transformation take a photograph now uh, we talk about say procedure that identifies whether those portions of the picture that are either inside or uh, outside the specific uh, region of a space is called clipping. Now clipping is a process by which you will uh, clip the regions uh, from the object of 
uh, interest and you will remove remove unwanted portions from it and you will select only the uh, region of interest that is the main portion will be selected and uh, rights of cleaning are mine cleaning line cleaning area cleaning curve and text cleaning that we have already discussed here so let us start with the first one that is cleaning any procedure that identifies those portions of a picture that are either inside or outside of a specified region of space is referred to as cleaning element or simply clipping clipping means cutting here so the region against which the object is clipped is called a clip window clipping refers to the removal of the parts now suppose this is the window here you will see that this is the window and this is the object of interest here now this portion is outside the window this portion a b is totally outside and this region is also outside so we do not want them we want only this region say this 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 and this and this and this that's it so how do we go about clipping it there is also a question what primitive types can be clipped we will consider line clipping polygon clipping there are two types of clippings uh, we will be considering line clipping and polygon clipping here uh, line clipping algorithm takes as input two end points of a line segment and returns one or more line segments a polygon clipper uh, takes as input the vertices of a polygon and returns one or more polygons there are several clipping algorithms we will study uh, cohen sutherland line clipping uh, algorithm to learn some basic concepts now if you see here there is a point here and the w1 x1 w y1 w x2 w y1 so here we have a point and then this is just the point clipping let us try to understand how this is working here uh, suppose we have got a point x and y uh, these are the window boundaries x value should be greater than window minimum and it should be less than window less than or equal to window maximum similarly the value of y should be uh, greater than y window minimum and less than equals to the y window maximum that is to be understood uh, this is the major point of a point clipping the inner point clipping we try to put the point inside the window uh, according to certain set of rules as mentioned here x lies in between x window minimum and x window maximum and y lies in between y window minimum and y window maximum here and uh, uh, where the edges of the clip window are x window minimum x window maximum y window minimum and y window maximum here they can be uh, work coordinate window boundaries or view boundaries one of the four inequalities is not satisfied then the point is clipped or not saved for display that is what i have discussed so if you are not falling into that particular boundary then you will not be part of that particular window no selection will be made now let us go further from point let us go to the line now this i have shown you a very large window now the, i am showing you something before clipping here now in this particular uh, uh, window we have drawn several sets of lines and marked them also as p1 p2 p uh, p3 p4 and p5 p6 p7 p8 and p9 and p10 you will find that the lines p3 and p4 p9 and p10 are totally outside the window the line p1 and p2 is completely inside the window line p5 p6 makes an intersection with the clipping window boundary similarly line p7 and p8 makes uh, intersection at this particular point and at this particular point in the uh, clipping window so the final result of this will be after clipping only this much portion of this line this much portion, this is already completely inside and this was partially inside and partially outside so therefore this portion is selected for the uh, from this particular line let us start with the clipping algorithm in the clipping algorithm uh, before clipping and after clipping we are showing here uh, this these are a few lines here uh, p1 p2 p5 p6 p3 p4 p7 p8 p9 p10 and finally i have come is already discussed here we have marked them as p7 dash and p8 dash because they are making they are the new points of intersection here now in this particular case also it is a point of intersection so it is marked as p5 dash 
So the parametric equation of the line can be represented with the help of two lines and uh, points x0, y0 to x and y n can be represented as x0 x0 u x n minus x0 y0 y0 plus u y n minus y0 where u lies in between 0 and 1. This is the most important point because u has to lie in between 0 and 1 then only it will be able to draw. So u is to determine the parts contained in the clipping window. So let us see. Let us start with the Cohen-Sutherland line clearing algorithm. In the Cohen-Sutherland line clearing algorithm, uh, intersection calculations are expensive. Find first lines completely inside or certainly outside the clearing window. So first task is to identify uh, manually the lines. Then apply intersection only to undecided lines. Okay. Then perform cheaper tests before proceeding to extensive intersection calculations. Now, in this particular case, first of all, you have to identify which of the lines, which of the lines, So perform cheaper test and after that now we will start with the Cohen's of the land. Uh, assign code to every end point of the line segment. Border lines of the clipping window divide the line into four two halves. A point can be characterized by four bit code according to its location in the half planes. The location bit is zero if the point is in the positive half plane and one otherwise. Code assignment involves comparison and subtractions. Completely inside or certainly outside does involve only logical operations. Let us see the diagram here. Now, if any line which lies completely inside, as in the earlier case, it was lying completely inside, the code will be this one. And if it is lying on the uh, right hand side, it will be this would be marked. And if it is lying at the top, this bit is marked and then these two legs are marked here in this bit is marked left and then here this is 0 1 0 1 for this particular thing 0 1 is the bottom and for this 0 1 and then bottom and left this is left this is left and this is for bottom so here this is bottom and right for right this is so lines that cannot be decided and it with the window border lines. Uh, each test clips the line and the remaining test rate again uh, for full inclusion or certain inclusions until the remaining is either empty or full contained. Now let us see the example here. Now if you see this particular line, you, uh, this is the line here and uh, we are extending the boundary here. If you see this is the boundary and this is the boundary here and uh, uh, the line is making intersections with the window, clipping window P2 dash and at position P1 dash. And uh, you will see another line, P, uh, this, this line is also uh, making intersection with the extended line, not part of this particular window. So we can identify the code here, this is the code here for this particular thing, but this is the code for this particular thing, this point. And uh, uh, the code for this region is this one, and uh, if anything is lying here, it will be this one. So this we have to identify this intersection point and this intersection point here in this particular case. Now the next algorithm that is called as the Lang-Vasky line clipping algorithm. Uh, we have to test the undecided uh, lines in cohen sutherland for uh, more completely defined clipping window by intersection half planes. Uh, here it is slightly better than the cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm. Let us see how this is functioning here. Uh, this is the parametric method of writing the equation and uh, in this particular thing we have to find out the uh, this is the uh, method of finding out the, whether the point is lying inside or outside and then we have to find out p1 x0 minus x and q1 x0 minus x window minimum p2 x n minus x0 q2 x window maximum minus x0 and p3 y0 minus y n y3 q3 y0 minus y window minimum 
e4 yn minus y0 q4 y maximum minus y0 so after finding these values we will have to decide which portion of the uh, lines is to be uh, clicked in the inequality upk less than equals to qk and if pk is less than 0 uh, the traversal from x0 y0 to xn yn by increasing u from minus infinity to plus infinity as shown here the intersection now here intersection of minus infinity to infinity extension with the k order we have already found out the values of mu is equal to qk upon pk so here we calculate the uh, 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 u and u, u uh, that is the u minimum and u maximum here it is u minimum and u maximum and uh, for k values 1 2 3 4 and pk equals less than equals to 0 less than 0 u naught is calculated since progression is from the positive half lengths if pk is greater than 0 u and is calculated these are the few important rules we have to remember uh, this rule and this rule this portion and uh, u naught is the maximum and we have to find maximum among 0 and all q by pk mu and is the minimum among 1 and q pk this is the feasibility here and we have to find out here this one then next notice that the q k upon p k doesn't need actual division since comparisons of q dash and this one so let us take the uh, this one summary we have to find out this uh, x is equal to x1 plus mu delta x, y is equal to y1 plus uh, u mu delta y, and uh, we have to check mathematically this value u x1 plus u delta x should lie in between x minimum and x maximum, y1 plus u delta y should lie in between y minimum and y maximum, and then we have to rearrange these things. Now let us see the example here. I will solve the example uh, one such. Now uh, you see uh, the example, uh, uh, let us draw a line, say, uh, let us take a window and uh, this is 10, this is 0, this is 10, 10 and uh, this is 10 here and uh, we have taken up a line and uh, this is minus 8 comma 2 this is 2 comma 14 and uh, here uh, this is your p0 and this is your pn now solving using Ian Baski uh, I'll give you a few steps here we have to first of all find mu left mu right mu bottom and we have to find out the mu form. So let us see the formulas. We have already calculated with the help of those formulas. Uh, uh, we can see q 2k upon q1 upon p1, this is q2 upon p2, this is equals to q3 upon p3 and this is equals to q4 upon e4 and uh, the formulas are equal to x0 minus x window minimum divided by minus of delta x equals to this will be your x window maximum minus x0 divided by delta x and this will be y0 minus y window minimum divided by minus delta y and this will be y window maximum minus y0 divided by delta y ok so now from this particular line I will try to solve this uh, you will find that this is uh, x0 and uh, y0 so here minus 8 minus of x window minimum x window minimum is 0 here so we will put the value here this is the point 0, 0 and this is 10, 0 and this is this and this is 0, 10. Okay, so here minus delta x. So what is the value of minus delta x? Minus delta x means 2, uh, 2 minus of minus 8. 
So here the value is minus 8 divided uh, by minus 10 4 upon 5 and uh, this particular value let us find out this particular value 10 minus of minus 8 divided by uh, we have to find out 2 minus of minus 8 and the value is 18 divided by uh, it is 10 is equals to 9 by 5. In this particular case, we will find out it is 2 minus 0 divided by minus 14 minus 2 and in this case it is 10 minus 2 divided by 14 minus 2. Now how did we get this 14 minus 2? This is 14 and this is 2. Okay. So here in this case it is 2 by minus 12 which is equal to minus 1 by 1 upon 6 and this is equal to 8 upon 12 which is equal to 2 by 3. Now we have to observe these values. Now on observing these values you will find that uh, uh, this particular thing according to the definition of u, u less than u should lie in between 0 and 1. Okay. So here in this particular case what is happening? Uh, this is minimum. Uh, this is 0 0.8. Here in this case, it is mu is your greater than 1 and in this case, it is mu is less than 0. So therefore, it is around about uh, 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.8. So, we have here mu max, this is max and minimum. So, these are the two values. Uh, since mu max greater than mu min, therefore the line is neglected. Okay, so it is according to the rule given in the uh, Leon Basque system that we have already discussed in the class. Now if we take another example here, in this case, let us take the example. So here if you see mu right again the same formula we get uh, x0 minus x window minimum divided by minus of delta x and this is x window maximum minus x0 divided by delta x. This is y0 minus y window minimum divided by delta y. Y window 
maximum minus y0 divided by delta y. Let us take this here. Now in this particular case, your x0 is minus 5 and uh, x window minimum is 0 divided by minus of delta x that is 15 minus of minus 5 is your 20. So it is uh, minus of 20 which is equals to 1 by 4. And in this particular case, it is 10 minus of minus 5 divided by 20. This particular case, 3 minus 0 divided by minus of 9 minus of 3. And in this particular case, it is 10 minus 3 and 9 minus 3. This particular value, it is 15 upon 20 and which is equal to 3 by 4. This is equal to 3 upon uh, minus of 6 is equal to minus half. And this particular value is equal to 7 upon 6. So let us observe this value, this value, this value and this value. Now you will find that this is entering And uh, this is exiting and uh, this value you will observe that mu less than 0 here in this particular case mu is uh, greater than 1 therefore this is rejected therefore this is rejected here. Yeah. Now we have to find out these intersection points this intersection point and this intersection point here. Yeah. Uh, if you observe this particular thing, you will find that uh, this intersection point, this, let us mark it as 1 and uh, let us mark it as 2. The first intersection point can be calculated as 0, uh, 3 plus 1 by 4 into 6 which is equal to 0, 4.5. Now this particular point, x is fixed here, you have to just find out the value of y. So how do you find out from the parametric equation? You remember parametric equation. Right? So 3, uh, 3 plus 1 by 4 into 6 is, you find it is equal to 4.5. So this is the point, this is equal to 0, 4.5. Now we have to find out the next value that is for this. This is for the first and now this is for the second here. In the case of second, you will find that this particular x value is already known to us 10. But where is the y? We have to calculate the value of y. Therefore, 10, comma, uh, 3 plus 3 by 4 into 6. So you get 10, comma, uh, 7.5. This is the 10, comma, 7.5. So this is the uh, method with the help of which you will be able to see uh, the working of a Leon Raski line clipping algorithm. So in this particular uh, chapter we have done 2D viewing transformation and we have covered two algorithms. One is Cohen's other line line clipping algorithm for which I have already taken up the examples in the class and for Leon Raski I have taken up the class in the video lecture itself. So you can see both the examples are very important in explaining the concept of Leon Basky line clipping algorithm.